Hey Lobos, it's Mr. Johnson down in the Media Center to show you how Google Sites works. First of all, how do you get there? Go ahead and log into your Google Drive page by going to drive.google.com or you can get there from the Rocky homepage. Once you're there, go ahead and click on the waffle and you should see Sites in the drop-down list of choices. If for some reason you can't find it, you can always just type in sites.google.com, land, uh, log in with your uh, credentials, and it'll take you to this page. This is the classic Google Sites page. Most teachers are having students switch to the new Google Sites. So here on the left, just click on New Google Sites. Now, if your teacher has make a, made a classroom website that they want you to work on together, you'll see that listed here. You simply click on it, begin working on it. It'll work just the same as what I'm about to demonstrate. Now, if your teacher didn't make a classroom website, they want you to create your own from scratch, just come here to the lower right-hand corner and hit this red plus sign. First thing you're going to want to do is name your site. Uh, your teacher may have um, instructions about how they would like you to, to name your website, so follow their instructions. And then uh, go ahead by giving your uh, page a, a title. So I'll just call it Astronomy Homepage. Again, follow your teacher's instructions as far as naming goes. Um, first thing you may want to do is change the uh, background of your banner. So you can just change the image. Now the new Google Sites has a lot of really nice images here that you can choose from. If you can't find one that you like, I'll show you. If you found one here you like, you just click it and select it. Now if you can't find one you like, um, what I'd recommend doing is open a new tab in Chrome and then just typing the uh, topic of your web page like astronomy and then just type the word banner after it and and there you can click on images. Now some of these images may be copyright protected so um, you can check out the uh, fair use guidelines but generally things for educational purposes uh, can come from um, educational sites and things like that without getting into trouble. So I, here's one from a .edu, so I'll just click on that, view the image, and that should take me to that uh, image. Once you find something you like, you just right-click on it, save that image uh, to your desktop or wherever you can find it again. So I'll just call this Astronomy. Um, a lot of the new Google Sites is drag-and-drop based, so I'll just show you how that works. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to change this background, I could say Change Image, just like I did before, but now I can go to Upload. Now I could click this blue button and browse to my desktop and upload that banner, or I can just simply drag-and-drop it from here into that space. and then you can see I've got this new background so I would go ahead and recommend changing the banner to match the topic of each page within your site um, you can choose from a regular banner under header type a large banner or a title only I, I like the banner um, makes the page more visually attractive but leaves you plenty of space to work below so feel free to make those changes uh, to add content to your page, you're going to simply just double click in the white space. In any typing, you'll just click on this text tool and type in whatever you'd like to type. And then down here is where you would type your, your paragraphs. There, there aren't a lot of um, uh, formatting uh, choices, but there are some simple things. So you can, you can use normal text, title, um, subheadings, that sort of thing. So that's how you add text. Uh, you can change the um, alignment of your text. You can add uh, hyperlinks within your text or you can delete your text. Real simple to use. Now beyond typing your own text, if you have a Google Doc, you can come here to the insert menu. And you can just go to your Google Docs and then you can find a Google Doc in your Google Drive that you'd like to add and just simply double click on it. You can change the size. In this case, I'm just going to delete it. If you have a Google Slideshow, you can close that, go to Slides, double click on a Google Slideshow that you'd like to add. Again, changing the size, you can drag and drop the location. So it's all very much drag and drop based. Any other contents that you have in your Google Drive, like forms, you can add right to your web page. Maybe you're teacher wants you to make a quiz that goes um, with your site so you can just add that change the size again 
Um, adding web pages, again, just double click in the white space. There's a URL box here, so I can just copy and paste or type my own web address. For example, NASA. And that will become a hyperlink. So I can double click in any white space. I can add images here. So if I wanted to add an image of Jupiter, I could hit search. These are copyright safe search here, so you don't have to worry. This built-in search is copyright friendly. So you can just assume that these images are available for, for uh, free use. And then if I double click, I can upload files. I can add anything from my Google Drive as well from uh, this. Close that. Um, to add a YouTube video, you would just click on YouTube, type in the topic. I'll just type in NASA video. You'd want to preview it, make sure it's appropriate for your website. And then I'll just go ahead and add that one. And now I have a YouTube video on my website. I can change the settings by clicking on this uh, cog. If I have a, a folder of files I want to add for my Google Drive, I can just click on my Google folder and then double click on until I find the folder that I'd like and then I can just add that folder to my Google site. Again, can resize it, and drag and drop it wherever I'd like it to appear on my site. Okay, to add more pages, you just click the Pages button and you just add another page and I'll call this one Saturn. Again, use the naming conventions that your teacher gives you. And I can change the header type to a banner. I can change the image. Again, I can use uh, one of the images here or I can go out on the web and find a banner that's more appropriate for that particular title. And then just like before, I can double click in this white space to add my text, images, websites, uploads, Google Drives, or I can go to the insert menu for some additional choices over here. Um, you can change the theme of the entire website. So if it's your personal website, you can change the theme. It, it's a global change to the whole website. If you're working on a collaborative class website, the teacher should just pick the theme and the color, and then students will just have to live with whatever their teacher selected but you can't change the themes for individual pages unless it's your own website. Okay, um, so again you would just double click, add text, type your content. Now in terms of navigation by default it's going to be, make a horizontal navigation across the top of your page. If you have a lot of topics and they won't fit easily there, you can come here to the cog and this will show up after you've added a page and you can change the side navigation. And I'll just show you what that looks like with the preview with the eyeball here. The side navigation is just going to add a black bar here and show the links down the side of the page. You can preview it in a computer screen, a tablet, or a phone, which is nice. And then once you're finished, you'll just click the uh, X here and that will take you back to your editing mode. If you want to make drop-down menus, let me change my cog back to a top navigation. If, for instance, I want Saturn to be a drop-down underneath Home, I can just drag and drop it to Home, and then it's going to become a drop-down menu, and, and that will work with the side navigation also. So the uh, drop-down menus by dragging and dropping them is another uh, nice feature. Okay, um, once you're satisfied with your site, you'll just go to Publish, and you can choose a, a domain name for it, so it's going to be sites.google.com slash psdschools.org slash whatever you name your site. So I could call it Mr. J site, and that's where people would go to see my site. That's what you would turn into your teacher's Google Classroom for grading, um, that sort of thing. Um, it has to be unique to the school district, so uh, a lot of names are probably already taken, so be creative. Follow your teacher's naming conventions if that's helpful. Choose whether it's just anyone in PSD or anyone on the web. And then if you want it to show up in like a Google search result. And then you would just simply hit publish. And you would need want to record that address so that you could give that um, to your teacher. If this address is too long, you can go to Bitly and you can make a shorter address in Bitly or your favorite URL shortener and turn that into your uh, teacher. 
So that's really all there is to it. Very simple, drag and drop based, really intuitive. And I think compared to the old Google sites, you're really going to enjoy the ease of use. Have a great day, Lobos.